The Deepwater Horizon oil spill began in April 2010 and continued for 87 days. By the time it was finally contained, 134 million gallons of oil had been released into the Gulf of Mexico, making it the largest marine oil spill in U.S. history. The Gulf of Mexico is pretty much everything to myself and family. I was fishing at the time when the rig blew, and the next day we were sitting and I saw the oil on the surface, and so we just cut the trip and came on in. The oil spread throughout the Gulf. It sank down to the ocean floor, mixed into the water column, seeped into marshes and soil beaches. Animals swam through it, inhaled it, and even ingested the oil. The impacts from the spill affected the entire Gulf ecosystem. The Deepwater Horizon oil spill also impacted our Gulf communities, which are so closely tied and linked to the natural resources of the Gulf, from folks that earn their living through fishing, recreation, to tourism and beachgoers. All were impacted by the spill. NOAA led the effort to determine the total harm from the spill, along with other federal agencies in the Gulf states. In 2016, a settlement was reached with BP, and we are now using billions of dollars from that settlement and other penalties to restore the Gulf. The Deepwater Horizon restoration effort is the largest restoration effort in history. NOAA has taken the lead in restoration projects for a variety of habitats, including restoring marshes along the coastline and restoring corals. This also includes projects to restore sea turtles and marine mammals and to restore our fisheries. Because of the spill, many adult fish, including bluefin tuna and swordfish, were harmed. The oil also killed trillions of fish larvae. This meant that a few years later, some populations would be much smaller. Fishing was good, but after two years, it started dropping off more and more, and it got extremely bad. Now, last year uh, was probably the worst year we've seen in quite a while. Today, we are working with Gulf fishermen to help fish populations rebound. They volunteer to refrain from fishing during certain times of year or switch to alternative gear types. The gear helps fishermen continue fishing for yellowfin tuna and swordfish while reducing the amount of other fish caught accidentally, like bluefin tuna. The bycatch is extremely low. The bonus part is every time there's a bycatch, it's released alive. That's a bonus for everyone. This project is inspiring a new generation of fishermen, and this younger generation is also energized on the coast. Members of the Gulf Corps program gain skills and experience in conservation while helping to restore Gulf habitats. These jobs also help boost the local economy. These projects are beneficial that they're helping us with, tackling erosion, recreating habitat, and then also monitoring these projects to see if they were successful. We have totally transformed this beach. We were building an artificial reef and planting Spartina marsh grass, and we have turned it into something that's gonna last for a lifetime. And that's what makes me so excited to be a part of it, is because this area has been hit hard, and this program is really providing youth an opportunity to recover and rebuild and help be a part of restoring that community. I feel like I'm making an impact in the community that I love and the skills that I've been able to build upon here could really build a sustainable future for myself and my family. Restoring the Gulf of Mexico will be a long process. It will take decades to get the habitat, fisheries, and wildlife back to where they were before the spill. NOAA's strong collaboration with Gulf communities and partners like fishermen and Conservation Corps members is key to building a resilient and healthy Gulf and making restoration a reality. To be able to help restore what was damaged, it makes me feel so great to know that I was involved and that I can be proud of what we've done. And it gives you a purpose. It has you leaving every day feeling fulfilled and feeling happy. I fell in love with this, this line of work. Not for me or for my father's generation, but for my son's generation. In order for us to restore the golf, everybody has to put a hand in it. Make the golf as if it's your own home. Take care of it. <laughs>